I yeah. think Melian Brawl, Mute King, like, showed us. Zuin, Zuin, you know, Zoo and Kektor did a talk on how on Melee's metagame progression. Yeah. And they had a, from my understanding, they had a big segment on how Mute King really revolutionized the game. And there should be. I mean, this, this, Mute King is a person who does not look at the game and, and like, doesn't look at what everybody else has done and kind of, like, take lots of it for himself. He questions everything. Yeah, I think I th he doesn't live by the rules that other exactly, people, yeah. you know? Exactly right. Makes his own rules. But another man who makes his own rules Oh, is... that, that's, that's a fact. Axe, the button-pushing master. Oh, yeah. Please show me an offbeat moment from Axe. Axe is always on beat. Every moment that Pikachu can act, 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 yeah. act. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's real real tight timings with everything he does. Yeah, extremely fast-paced uh, gameplay from, from the guy. And he's up a stock versus Mewtwo King. I think this traditionally is an awful, awful matchup for Pikachu. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mewtwo King is definitely, like, lifetime way up. Yeah. But Axe is, Axe is taking, like, three or four sets. He's done it several times. Um... And something you know, these guys playing, you never know if it's gonna be one of these sets where Mewtwo King just rolls him, or it's you know a good day for X, and sometimes he just does it. Yeah, and it's it's cool. I, I actually really like watching these two play. Um, kind of one thing that I think Mewtwo King does better than any other Sheik is that <laughs> his nice yeah his, that yeah exactly his edge guarding edge versus guard. Pikachu is like phenomenal, which is huge. Oh yeah, because you like. It used to be that Pikachu was thought of as, okay, if he's recovering, he just gets back for three. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember those days. It's like, just don't even mess with it, because if you get hit by Quick Attack, you're dead, right? So you may as well just let him come back. Right. You fall below the he stage. He sweet spot everything, right? No, no big deal. Just let, let him come back. But yeah. Yeah, Mewtwo's got this whole system to it with the needles, the back airs, uh, down smash lifts off sometimes. And needles so good, right? The downward angle that you can throw them at, it just cuts off so much of your, your recovery path. Yeah, they're super phenomenal. And Mewtwo King not a big uh, chain grabber in the matchup either. I know which I find strange. I feel yeah. like you get a free chain grab up to like fifty or sixty. F yeah, I, that's that's my understanding. Is it ends around forty-five, fifty? Oh well, okay. here it is. There's that one. <laughs> here it is at seventy. Yeah. Just uh, Pikachu helplessly falling into Sheik's arms. And I like how Mewtwo King not afraid uh, during when Axe is off stage when he he's just kind of floating there with Sheik. I mean, I think Sheik's recovery is really amazing, and she has a lot of really quick options. Oh yeah. So it's good that good that he uh, he feels confident enough to be chilling there, off stage with Axe. Yeah, in spite of everything, I agree. Digging this crowd, by the way. I, I've I've never seen this many like you know like families and little kids. Oh yeah. Uh, just fans. We got there's there's, there's this there's this like there's this eight year old up out there that was like shouting I think obscenities <laughs> at Leffen. I I heard some things that I'm not allowed to repeat stream. Um, during the left and West Ball set, this kid wanted West Ball to win real bad. Yeah, real emotionally invested. He's going for the going for. Uh, wow, Mewtwo King laughing. Yeah, he's cracking up. He's okay. like, "Wow, Axe, you just you just snared me with Pikachu. You're so dumb." <laughs> yeah, They're these both, both you know, enjoying this little moment. Right. You, I, I think Mewtwo King he he gets like that more with people he plays a lot. And since he's living in AZ now, and these guys play at like locals all the time. Yeah. So I think to Mewtwo King, this is just like you know another another set, another day. Yeah. And that, that's a good and bad. <laughs> There's a good and bad thing about being able to practice with Mewtwo King. He literally, I feel like, he plays almost every set like it's tournament. Yeah. The only time that he will play not like it's tournament is when he's randomly pausing to throw off your timing yes. and stuff like that. So it's always bad for you. Yeah. If you're having fun and like slightly beating him, it's like, all right, the pauses come out. Right. And uh, if you can't beat him, then he's just gonna, he's literally gonna play you like he plays tournament. So it's uh, it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. It's good practice, but uh, it's extremely good practice. Pretty demoralizing, I think. Wow. Ooh, wow. That was a call out if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that was super good. That, that was, was uh, just, that was just uh, you know, both sitting in our shields. And no, that was a like, read. It had to be a read. You know, and, and Mewtwo King, I don't think, I don't think Mewtwo King was in range of the up smash when he did it. Like, no. he predicted, I think, that, that he Mewtwo was King, either going to grab or wave dash in. Yeah. And that's what he did. Or, you know, short hop in or something. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, it's like two players sitting in shield. If you up smash his Pikachu, it's like you put all your cards at the table and you're punishable. Yep. The only reason that that's good is if you predict that they're going to do something at that moment. Right, and if you, if they do, you know. So I'm Axe sorry, my game one with a two stock over right. the best, well, probably the best sheik. I don't know. I don't know certainly, if he's still the best, sheik, best sheik at this matchup. Yes, I think like matchup to matchup, it's debatable now between him and like Club. Club's so good. Yeah. What about Drug Fox, dude. Drug Fox. Some of them. Well, I don't know. A lot of them are real close. Drug Fox two king. Drug Fox two king. D two K. Shroomed, shroomed Kaze. A lot of the a lot of the top sheiks are really good. Wow, just see those three wave dash backs and hit a down tilt. That was pro. Two, two, two. What do you think about the two? I two. think I, I actually you know I actually love the two. I, I mute uh mute king. Sheik moves in this very like unitized sort of fashion. Like yeah. she moves in little spurts. 
And I love how you can like count. You can count how how she's moving with the with the with twos. The twos. Yeah. Two, two. Because she doesn't. She can't fly across the stage like Falcon with the short up. Nope. So when she's short up, she's constricted to this little unit of area of space. And that's her whole game too. She gets. She wants to get within one or two of those units of you, and then like box you in. Yep. And then that's when the twos come out, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dreamland's working out yeah. or something, or he's just playing hella good, hella nice. Is it gonna be forward air? Yeah. yeah. Up air, uh, pretty devastating. Kill up air, move, I think up air would have killed too. At that point, it's like whatever, do whatever you want. Yeah, but on Dreamland, you know. Yeah, this sucks. You know what? Oh, wow. This time today, I. You know, one thing I have heard is that uh, I guess the chain grab is not nearly as good as people thought it was. Yeah. On, on, on Pikachu specifically. I mean, honestly, it's probably Axe who figured out how to get out of it. I mean, he probably sat there and grinded it out because probably. I mean that was taken for granted. You're just gonna get take, get taken for a ride. Right. Until 70 or whatever. The, which well, is the why key is the key is matchup. yeah. The key is don't di away. You di uh, like slightly in, so you go straight up. Because then you know you're you're the furthest away right. out of. Uh, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and it's probably a, like a, a delicate dance. Melee has so much to it that you know, depending on your percentage, you'll fly farther, but you'll also be in more or less hit stun. So there could be like a little window there where if you get above a certain threshold, you're hit stun so much that you're still gonna get grabbed. So like it could it could be that little dance. It's yeah. Well, you're more vulnerable to uh, other moves too. If he he tries to up tilt or up smash, and there's Axe saying you got me that game. Four that stock, was baby. Real brutal. Real real brutal. And Axe, I mean, the, the one thing that I saw that was a little bit weird was the uncharacteristic, you know, up B just missing the ledge. I feel like Axe is the, the up B king. He's just always on point with yeah. uh, where he ends up. Up B master? The up B master. Yeah, he's the up B master. Definitely the Pikachu master. Yeah. Who else has a claim? In like Pikachu the master? normal, in the normal sense of the word master. Yeah, he's actually the normal. He's, he's, a, he's, a, master. he's a normal, right. What do you think about this stage? Ooh, actually, think? the tough start. He tries it there and he hits every you, needle on the way. <laughs> I don't. You don't. Do you think he did that on purpose? No, right? There's I, no dude, way. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes you know with, he's crazy. With Jason, I don't know. Yeah. He may have. He may have put those needles there as a trap to slow down Axe's Nair. He's sick with it like that. Right. He is actually he sick played, with it. Filthy. He plays like that. Yeah, sick. Filth. Hashtag it. Sick with it. Filthy. Filth. Yeah. Just unspeakable things. Yes. He will do to win this game. Wow. He came up with the ledge with a ne with needles, which is like very level two or level three option. That's not really that when you say great. Level two or three, you mean Yomi, like right? Yomi, yeah. Like Yomi, yeah. And they're then, expecting and then, you to do this and this, so then that closes off this and this for them. Yes. Then you're a level deep. You're a level deep, right? And Axe tries to do the normal like up up air out of shield thing. Muting lets the needles rock early, which beats that up. But no, Axe is uh, Axe is making fountain work for him. It's funny, like Fountain of Dreams. I feel like is like a really like every chic like loves this stage, yeah. but. Axe, Axe is like FOD master, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> the master's coming out in full force, dude. Yeah, dude. We got masters all over the we place. We got masters on masters, dude. Ooh, the grab master Mewtwo King <laughs> finds finds grabs like it's his job, dude. He's he definitely does. the finding grab. He's, a, he's the finding grab, right? No, that's his career, dude. He's built a career off of finding grabs. Two things: finding grabs and then doing doing whatever it is after the grab. Yeah, doing lots of crazy things. Grabbing, he's like, he's grabbing like and the, going, grabbing and going. He's like the people at the beach with the metal detector finding metal. That's what he does with grabs. He's yeah. just finding metal at the. He's finding grabs at the beach under the sand. Right, and then he knows what to do with it. He knows like the he's store. Turned it into he knows some the stuff. he knows the shop to go to to get the best bang for his buck on the things he found. He might even smelt stuff himself. Pro no, he's definitely a smelter, the dude. Smelt master. He's a hard smelter. Shout out to uh, PPU. Yeah. The the smelter. Ooh. That back air, just stopping Pikachu in his or her tracks. Wow. I hate when that happens. Wow. So Axe went for the super crispy. Uh, so, you know, probably everybody everybody who plays the game at a moderate level. Wow, great read. He dies off oh the... Oh, my he gosh. He in. He de absolutely died in. I think that he died before the thunder. He did. He died because uh, uh, Pikachu charged the up smash and he got it. Oh my god, but up, up smash tipper is so powerful. The answer back. Yeah, the answer back, dude. I heard your up smash is good. Check mine out. Check mine out, yeah. The that's, the, that's the Kanye West, right? That's the, that's the uh, I'm going to let you finish, but. <laughs> but. And uh, you just saw the, the two hits of Sheik's up smash. So much damage. Dude, it's, it's so rough. The, fir the first hit sends you into the tipper. And I like that mix-up he went for the forward smash, and if, if Mewtwo King was DIing away, right, re ready for the up smash, yeah. then that would have been the stock, but good presence of mind and or reactions by Mewtwo King. Right. Again, these guys play a lot, so they might kind of oh just wear these little tricks. Yes, Mewtwo King definitely wear a lot. Well, Axe, Axe, Noah, 
no slouch when it comes to the tricks himself, but oh my god, dude. Yeah. Mutu King looking super nice after that game one. Yeah. Mutu King's just got binders full of full of tricks, dude. Yeah. Tricks and tech, right? Yeah. Binders full of tech. Shout-outs to presidential candidate Donald Trump. <laughs> who, uh... I'm not, not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into it, but Kirby 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 this. Kaze, open up a open up a spot for me in, in Canada, dude, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's just I'm, random, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all my from Tove. <laughs> <laughs> like if we get Trump, we're out we're out. We get, I'm out, dude. He's out. Dude. Uh, shout out to all our Republicans out there. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the stream. <laughs> all right. And okay. Thanks, and picking Falco. No, th you know. You're Axis fired. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Donald Trump reference. Yeah, dude. Well, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen Axe Falco do things that I thought, "Oh my God, that sucks." See What's that, up, just, Randall? That just okay. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. The crouch cancel on the forward air. Great presence of mind by Axe. Yep. Just a step ahead. Great bait. So you watch Axe Falco and you're like, "Man, this Falco can do super nutty." I feel like he's like a little West Balls Junior. You know what I mean? Yes. Slightly different, right? He's got, no, he's certainly different. They play neutral different, but like the yeah. way they move uh, yes. is is similar. You know. The and way actually, they look for hits is different, but... Yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying 100%. But see, that whole sequence, I could see West Ball doing that whole sequence. The other thing the other thing about uh, about Axe, I, have you ever seen his Marth? His yeah. Marth no, moves better than any Marth I've ever seen. Whoa! I love Ooh. it! No, Axe is always crispy, dude. He's the he's the crispiest. He's the... Cr the oh, little little slow reaction, right? Yeah, a little moment. Like that would have worked. <laughs> Oh, the DI trap, dude! The mix-up! He says, that, I'm about that's dash I'm a dash right? tech you, I'm a dash tech you! And he jumps up and slaps him real quick with a super low to the ground forwarder. That's Mutu King for you with the tricks. Yeah. Ooh, great, great ledge grab. He waited for the needles so that he wouldn't get interrupted in his wave dash back. Really good stuff by Axe. Ooh, but a great grab by Mutu King. This is trouble. Oh, great whoa. smash DI up into shine. And yo, Mutu King knew. Ready for it. Mutu King, yeah, he was like, I know you're going to smash down my jab. I know you're hella good, but I'm even better. Or I'm predicting that you're going to be hella good. Right. If he didn't smash DI that, that grab would have whiffed. Yeah, if he if Axe scrubbed it up, that was a free shine. Yeah. All he needed to all Mute King needed to do to get scrubbed up was to was to give his opponent too much respect. And that's the battle of melee, dude. Yeah. And and Oh good my player. god, Axe is a genius. You see how he recovered there? I don't know if he used the shy guys. If you're trying to tell me that he used the shy guys on purpose, then this is I, the highest. I don't think the I don't think the Yoshi's no, I don't think that had anything to do okay, with it. Cool. He, he just like found the one needle in a haystack recovery. Whoa! <gasps> Mute King with some amazing recoveries himself. Oh my god. And that's that offbeat play, right? Yep. Mute King wave dashed in, and it's just so ever so slightly slower than if he just tried to, you know, needle or nair or whatever. Uh, that Axe just kind of tries it. He got a little bit antsy at exactly the wrong time. This is exactly what Mute King wants. Yep. Wow! Ooh. Axe! The re Yo, the recoveries have been insane this game. Each these players are recovering like gods, like titans. That's the, that, can that you might make be. It back? Oh, no. it goes for the pro shorten. Yeah. And Axe barely missing. He tried to find the one frame to rule them all, dude. But if you can't find that one frame, you know what dude, happens? Dude, everybody's standing up and dipping out. I don't think that it's top oh, four yet. We heading over there, Gamer. What's going on, dude? Dude, there is a mass exodus. Switch the stream. Show the people. Show the people. I'm the other to find people. Out. Apostle Mop. Gimmer, Gimmer, oh, Gimmer, yeah, Gimmer. Dude, this the stands were full a second ago. Yeah. What is going on here? Gimmer, what's going on, dude? We have Gimmer. two matches left here. We're not in top four yet. We're going over there, aren't we? Yeah, okay. It's top six. They lied to us. It's top six? It's all West Balls eating popcorn. Good stuff, Apostle. <laughs> oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at, let's look at West Balls eating the popcorn. The he looks super Put the camera on West Balls. Right Ball. Oh, move over, move, move over, move over, move over, move over. Is that Shroom's not here. Shroom's not here. That's anti. Just zoom in on West Balls. Zoom in on West Balls. Zoom in on West Balls. West Balls cam. The slow zoom. Apostle with a drum. Apostle. Ap zoom in. You need to tell him to this zoom in on West Balls. This is an opportunity right now, dude. He's watching himself eat popcorn. What? What is what, Apostle? Why is Apostle zooming in on these guys? He I don't know any of those. You're guys. fired. Why? What's it? Well, what is he zooming in on now? What is? What is that? What is that? I don't know, man. It looks like a human heart. Yo, can you zoom in on West Balls eating the popcorn? Right there, right. He's the one guy. There's the, one that's person that's sitting there. The biggest Giphy cat of all time. Can you, can you please Ball do it, please, for all the people? There's this guy in green blocking him. Just leave it there for a hot three seconds. Yeah. What? No, 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 no. Get that guy out of the way. Get that guy. What? No, 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 no. 
Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. That's way too much of a zoom, oh, though. Dude, look how much popcorn he's dropping, he's dude. Zooming too much. He's dropping so. Dude, do you think he knows we're doing this? He knows. Of look at that. He, he knows. He's First, he knows. The, he's watching himself eat the popcorn on the stream. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot that there's a look at that. His eyes are trained on himself. <laughs> look, at, look at how good of a time he's having. Didn't he just lose a second wow, ago? Wow, Mango just walks up and takes a pop. Wow, Zoo taking the popcorn. Everyone, should I just? I want some popcorn right now. Back. Gimmer telling me to buy time. Little does he know that I'm the time buying master. Fish, don't you sit down with me. <laughs> he says I'm not. <laughs> he says I'm Scar not. Sucks. Wow. Scar's amazing, dude. Scar's all right. Scar's all right. So we're going to head into top six. On the winner's side, we've got Mewtwo King and Leffen. On the loser side, we've got Axe, Westballs, Coalball, and MACD. I don't know what order uh, they're going to play things out in, but... Uh, on the commentary side of things, we're going to do something that's never been tried before. Actually, that's not true. It has been tried before. The TriCast. We're going to have myself, Toph, and C9 Mango all trying to commentate at the same time. For those of you who watched West Ball's Leffen, take this with you. I'll take it. I got you, Gimmer. I think it would be super funny if I just leave it. He's gonna, Gimmer's going to be like, what the F? What the F, Scar? You're supposed to take the headset with you. Ooh! we got destruction over here. we got a live mic being handled. Can you mute that? It's super loud. Every time you hit the, hit the thing. Anyway, yeah, so that's our top six coming up. We're going to have the TriCast. Uh, if anybody watched Leffen versus West Balls, you'll know that uh, Bango's got a lot to say about that matchup. I basically uh, just decided that I'm just going to sit there and listen. Which is fine. I need to work on my listening skills anyway. Listening, so good. I'm going to answer any questions that come at me on Twitter right now. Uh, actually, I probably, have, I probably have some things to say. Let's think. What do I have to say to the people of Super Smash Bros. Melee? Oh my god, you take his popcorn? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Uh, West Balls gave Toph the popcorn. You probably saw it. I wasn't watching. I actually can't eat this on stream. Everybody's going to hear me crunching. I'll have one more kernel. So one big thing that I want to let everyone know, I'm announcing it here first. Everyone listening right now, this is the exclusive. What's up, Prog? Tomorrow, Toph and I are flying back to NorCal. We're going to the Twitch office. And we're going to be streaming a very special episode of the Scar and Toph Show. Yeah, I know. It's a Toph and Scar Show. Whatever. Episode 5 with extremely very special guest, that Mike Ross guy. Mike Ross is going to join us. We're going to talk about everything. Apostle, what are you doing to me, man? I got no background. I'm all white, white, whited out. You can't even see where my shirt ends and the, and the thing begins. There you go. There you go. High level stuff by VG Bootcamp. Anyway... We're going to have a, a, a very special guest, Mike Ross. We're going to talk about excellent adventures and how Mike feels that, you know, how it grew. Uh, we're going to talk about production value in the FGC and in, in Smash. We're going to talk about the Crimson Blur and various uh, mini beefs that Blur and I have had throughout Mike's time at the office. We'll probably spend some time talking about Street Fighter and Smash, similarities, differences. I would love to talk about top players and top matchups, you know, we see at EVO lots and lots of upsets. You know, for example, Daigo not making it into top eight in the last two years, as opposed to, you know, our top, top players, Mango, Mewtwo King, uh, Armada, Leffen, Hungrybox, PPMD, just going to be there every single time. So I want to talk a little bit about consistency and how, how that changes things. We've got plenty to talk about on this Tof and Scar show tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. on twitch.tv slash melee at 7.30 p.m. At, on twitch.tv slash melee it on me. Head on over to twitch.tv slash melee it on me and give us a follow if you want to If you want to watch Tof and I talk to the original people's champion, Mike Ross. Uh, he was the people's champ maybe a month before I was. 
which is very upsetting, but... When did he become the people's champ? When did he become the people's champ? In 2009, just like me. Alucard just said, Alucard just said what's up to me. The moment that I declared it is when Alucard actually, it's I do Alucard. miss you at... Exactly. At Genesis 1, Can I do my Alucard in crew battles, uh, where I was getting destroyed by Pink Shinobi. Will you calm down for a second? I'm just going to say tw 10 more words. I was getting destroyed by Pink Shinobi, but I was cheered on on commentary by one Alucard who referred to me as the People's Champ several times, and I think that was the moment. Go ahead, Tove. Well, I was just going to do my uh, my Alucard impersonation. He was kind of like, the people's champ, the people's champ, the people's champ, the people's champ, the people's champ. I was there. It's pretty accurate. You can actually go ahead and watch uh, I Killed Mufasa 3 trailer, which features Alucard's dialogue very prominently. Which, by the way, is the best. It is the actual best I Killed Mufasa related video in terms of the quality of the com combos. Uh, I don't know if I 100% agree with that. I do think that 2 is slightly better because there was more like innovative stuff, but the trailer for 3 is very, very, very strong. One of the strongest videos I ever put out. <laughs> Go ahead, you, do you want, the, you, want the, you want the mic real quick? No, I don't know what you're talking about. West Balls are Prison by Destiny. I have seen it. I have seen the video on YouTube. I thought it was very, very funny. Definitely go to YouTube.com and find uh, West Balls Imprisoned by Destiny. West Bowles. I wonder how much he paid for that beanie. Probably too much. One hour. One hour ago. Man, I need. A, I have a lot of catching up to do on Twitter. Uh, feel free to follow me at Bobby Scar. You can follow Tove at Tove underscore BBQ. And you can follow Mango at C9Mango. Uh, Michael Antram asks, what are your predictions for top four? So, I mean, I, of course, I mean, it's a, it's a given that uh, uh, B2 King and Leffen are going to be in top four. Uh, I don't know who, who is playing who. I think that Mac D matches up pretty well against West Dennis. I think that he would also match up pretty well against Cobalt. Uh, so I, th I think that it's definitely possible for Mac D to make it. Uh, Axe, I think for sure. I'm going to give him a lock. And yeah, it really depends on who's playing who. Uh, but you know, we know our we know our top six. Again, it's Mutu King and Leffen, uh, West Balls, Axe, Mac K Mac D, and uh, and Cobalt. Very very strong. Pikachu is a boy because his tail is jagged, while Pikachu has.